I'm James Sabolski along with Ray Ferraro here of the EA Sports Broadcast crew ready to bring you a fun one tonight. Opening night, crowd seems to be all dressed up and the players seem to be ready to go. This is so fun. When you're a player and you get to get to the first game of the season, you have these great anticipating dreams that you're going to have a great year, but it all starts on the first step and that's tonight. Hockey's back, so are we, and this season is about to begin. Puck is dropped, let's do this hockey. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Puck battle along the boards. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck in deep. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. And he makes the save. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Ontario's got the puck along the boards. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. San Jose's looking to break out. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes the feed from the wing. Ontario's got the puck along the wall. Gains the zone on the left wing. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Ontario's got the puck now. Slides it back to the blue line. Look out! It's in! He scores! That's his first! You didn't expect much offense from him, but man, this has taken a long time. Must feel great to get on the board. Coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goalie. Take his eyes away. Man, he only can see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The rain have taken a quick 1-0 lead. I can feel the rumble under my feet here. This is a big cheer early on as the home team gets out in front. Gains the zone through center. And he comes up with it. Barube's going to cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Three minutes, 18 seconds. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Ontario's ahead, 1-0. San Jose's won the draw. Pass back to the point. Centering pass. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Ontario's got a hold of it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Ontario's won the draw and they'll go to work. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Takes control of the puck. All smart heads up play to put that one away. Session along the boards. Here comes the pushback. I get what he's thinking. Lots of times you don't want to fight the guy that's staring you down. Oh, it looks like the trainer's going to meet him at the door here. He's struggling to get off the ice, just trying to get to the bench. Grabs the puck at center. Here's the chance to set up now. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Hey, James, we got to get another look at that. He's pretty rattled here. Looks like he took a pretty big hit. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Ontario's won the draw. Stays with it. Here's an offensive chance. Oh, and he 
can thank his stick for that one. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. San Jose's got it, and they're on the attack. Hammers one. Blocked in traffic. The rain have taken control of the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. So often in a in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Ontario sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. Gets it out of his own end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Great pass from the left wing. From in close! Too much congestion in front. Here he is on the backhand. Denies him in front. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Oh, he's trying to shoot that off the glass, James. Under a little bit of pressure, he panics, shoots it over the window. Now he's got to go feel shame for two minutes. Then you go free after that, right? Ontario's got a five-on-three and lots of time on their side. Pretty lengthy five-on-three here, and you'd like to attack and get one early so you have a chance for multiple goals. Picked up along the wall by Phillips. Quick shot. That goes wide. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Wrist one in front, and that's blocked. Maintains possession. Here's a chance. He scores. Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. You do a nice job there. I thought he was in good position here to make the stop, but this puck goes right through him between the legs and into the net. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Ontario's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Taken by Phillips. This is a confident player right here. He's got two goals earlier in the game. He's got the puck on his stick. He's got to be thinking about number three. And he comes up with a huge stop. Ontario's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. San Jose's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Ontario's gained possession along the boards. Across the line. Ontario's gained possession. Takes a wrist shot. And that one's blocked. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Alt's got it along the boards. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, and the goalie beat but puts it wide. By not very much. This is a guy that knows how to score. He just misses the net by a narrow margin here. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Scrum ensues along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Sutter. Ontario's in transition. 
Good defensive stop with the poke check. San Jose has got a hold of it along the wall. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Slides the puck over. Chase right in front. Too much congestion blocks the shot. His reflexes on display tonight. Scooped up along the wall by Sutter. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Ontario's on the attack. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. He scores! Well, they say good things come to those who wait. Well, he's been waiting, that's for sure. He got through his rookie year with nothing. But now... He's playing the percentages. Drops into the butterfly, but it doesn't help him. He gets beat pretty cleanly. Ontario's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. And he regains control of the puck. Lorraine have taken possession along the wall. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Feeds it up ahead. Lorraine have possession at center. Nice defensive robbery on that. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Through center along the wing. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Snaps it on net. Nothing doing. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Into the corner. Picks up the puck in his own end. Takes the pass. The rain have the puck against the boards. Receives the pass. Nice zone entry from the middle. Handles the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. On the backhand in front. Denies him again. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. The rain have gained possession off the wall. Right up the gut. Here they go. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Jostles the puck loose. San Jose's got it along the wall. The rain have gained control of the puck along the wall. Nice pass. Nice poke check. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Tries to feed it across. San Jose's moving it up the ice. Pokes the puck away. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Oh, that gets a piece of the stick. Cuts into the paint. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Ontario's been the better team here in the late stages of this first period. More shots, more goals. Simple as that. San Jose's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Scrum along the boards. Ontario's got the puck along the wall. Stones him in front. Well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one. But the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Here in the later stages of this period, and the ice is point. 3 nothing is where we sit right now. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. San Jose's got it across the line. Moves right to the middle. Here's a chance. Scores! And look at the smile on his face with his first. Uh, not just him, but his teammates. Everybody loves to see somebody get their first goal. Everybody seems pretty excited for him.
that's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Ontario's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. And he gains the zone here. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Battling for it along the boards. And it's kicked away. Great defensive stick work on the play. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Gets the puck over to Alt. Pass right back. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here's a chance. Chris shot from the slot. Gives them nothing in front. Buries it for the goal. I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no goals in three games in the middle of the year, nobody cares. At the start, it really matters. That's surprising. So quickly, they've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. Buckle up, everybody. We're not done yet. The centermen glide into position. Talk about an offensive explosion. It finally comes to an end here this first period. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 58 seconds. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Ontario's offense has come from many sources. They've had a majority of the shots on goal. It's a good thing. This is a high-scoring game. Now he takes it over the line. Hammers it on net. Stops him cold. Wide of the net. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Up along the wing. Can't keep a hold of it. The Rain have taken possession in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Good defensive effort to poke it away. San Jose's got it against the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Levels them with the hit. In 
into the corner of the attacking area. Big time stop there. Great reflexes, another save. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Takes the feed. Oh, what a stop. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. San Jose's got it in their own zone. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Manages to hang on, and the play continues. Back to the point it goes. Feeds it down low. Strong defensive effort. San Jose's got it now. Oh, wide of the net. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. They said they wanted to forecheck better. This is a great example. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes the feed. And that's broken up. Stones up with the blocker. The goalie gets himself out of any potential trouble by depositing that rebound into the corner. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Stays with it. Big play inside the defensive zone. Ontario's across the blue line. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Ontario's got the puck in their own end. Heads to the back of the net. Here's a chance! Blocker save! And he's showing up big time tonight! Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Jabs the puck away. Great timing to come up with the interception. And he takes a shot and makes the save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. More than half the period left to play. Ontario's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. San Jose's got it in the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. The rain have possession along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. Locks him down in front of the net. Baruki's always a battler. And here he makes a great save on this chance. Ontario's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. San Jose's looking to break out. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Picked up along the boards by Carrick. San Jose's playing it through the neutral zone. The rain have the puck in their own end. Sends the pass over. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. San Jose's moving it along the wing. Quick feed to Carrick. Sends a pass over. And a poke check knocks the puck away. They fight for it along the boards. San Jose's got the puck against the half wall. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. The rain have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. Even though the standard is tighter for slashing penalties, I think that would have been a penalty 10 years ago, too. Exactly. San Jose's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, you hope they're ready for this opportunity, James, as it shows up as they... Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle from referee Gilles Levesque and a penalty coming up that'll do it for the power play. 
And they're going to be short-handed as slashing is the call on the play. Yeah, this is a penalty of frustration, James. He, things haven't been going his way. He reacts and gets called. Now puts his team short-handed. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. The best skaters are the ones that are best on four-on-four -on -four with that little bit extra room. If you can work yourself into a little two-on-one spot, you can create some chances. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Can't connect. Grabs the puck. San Jose's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Brickley's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Ontario's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Steps in and takes the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Pokes it away in his own end. The rain have taken possession along the wall. Scoops up the puck here. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Ontario's got a small window to go to work here on this power play with the penalty expired. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Into the corner now. Let's it go! And that one's stopped. Ontario's got it along the wall. Here's a chance right in the slot. Knocked away. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Can't keep a hold of it. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great side. Past the midway mark in this period. Ontario's got a 3-2 lead at this point. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And that pass goes awry. Move to the middle. Rister stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged a good save. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Pinned up along the boards. Nice poke check. The rain had the puck against the boards. San Jose is ready to go on the attack. Misses a golden opportunity there. Ontario's got the puck in the defensive end. And he handles the cross ice pass. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Here he is, shot right in front. Stop that one. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. The rain have to control their sticks better. They'll serve two for slashing in the meantime. He was about halfway through that swing, James, and the official had his arm in the air. Would have been at least a base hit in your days as a ball player. Uh, that might have been more than that. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Sutter's won it off the faceoff. The power play can be so frustrating. When you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well, you start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Gains the zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And they manage to clear it. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. They go on the attack through center. Strong defensive effort. The rain have the puck in the open ice. Ontario's going to play it from the corner. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. 
San Jose is in transition. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Last minute of play in the second period. The Rain have gained possession off the wall and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Rain have possession shorthanded and the puck leaves the zone. San Jose's got it from behind the net. Through center along the wing. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Wrists one. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. The rain have gained control of the puck along the wall. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Are you looking to impress at your next group of entries? Then rent out one of our luxury boxes with great view. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. In one of our extravagant luxury boxes. See our website for details. to go, Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Takes the feet at the back end. And that sails over the net. You can go games without a chance from here. Ontario's got it in their own zone. And now it's over to Sutter. Moves the puck. Maintains possession. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Another scoring opportunity looms here. I like the way that their plan has been successful, and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Take it along the wall by Phillips. Hammers it, denies him with the save. Cutting to the front of the net, being stopped by the keeper. San Jose's gained possession along the boards, and the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Rain have taken possession in their own end. Phillips plays it into the offensive zone. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Ontario's got a hold of it along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. From the neutral zone now. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. A chance to clear. And they get it down. That yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Phillips works the puck in his own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. San Jose's penalty killers get a hold of it. And a successful clearing attempt. Oltz taking it from his own end. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Power play has expired. Well, the penalty killers hang on. They give themselves a chance. There's not much time left, but they were able to stay in touch with the game with a good penalty kill. And a great save! Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Picked up along the wall by Carrick. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Jabs the puck away. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. San Jose's in now. Hangs onto the puck. Busted up on the play. Yeah, you get in the right spot. Sometimes the thing just hits you. Ontario's looking to break out. Up along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Ontario's playing it from the side. 
San Jose's got the puck now. Here they come up along the wing. Coughs it up on the play. Slides the puck over. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot, the guy goes down, and you're toast every time. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. They've been running around trying to get this game tied up. They earn a power play, and now they'll have that chance. Quick puck movement always seems to work best for them. Just slide! San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Receives the pass. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Gets it out of his own end. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Gains the zone through the middle. San Jose's got the puck against the boards. Quick shot, turns it away. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And he denied that opportunity. Goes right to the crease. Big save. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here. A little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. San Jose's got a five on three, but not a lot of time to work with. Another penalty. That'll lead to a quick five on three here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. And that carries off a stick. From center, they get into the attacking area. Not even close. Not close to anything. The net's been the same size for a hundred years. Moves it up. Handles the puck. And the trap back of the net. They score. I like the way they use that manpower advantage to their advantage. They move the puck quickly. The penalty killers just couldn't catch up. of bodies in front of the goaltender. I don't think he gets a clean look at this as the power play zips a puck around the zone and they cash in. San Jose's finally made this all square in the third period with a much needed tying goal. Starts to get frustrating after a while when you do the right things over and over and you never get rewarded finally they score and now in the last half of the period they'll try to impose their will and find the winner he was locked in there holds lugging the puck pokes it away here in the neutral zone nice pass ontario's got control of it now from their own end san jose's got possession here in the offensive zone Barube's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. San Jose's going to have a chance to get some home cooking here on the calendar in the next little bit. Doesn't matter how great the hotel is, how great the restaurants are. After a while, you just want to go home. I mean. So now they can relax and play some games in their home arena. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Takes the feed. Denies him in front. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Pass 
the midway mark of the frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Steps inside the line. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall and tries to make a diagonal pass to Gallant. Ontario's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Looking for space inside the D zone. San Jose's on the attack. To his teammate. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Ontario's got the puck against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Just wide. That's trying to be too perfect. You're in the middle of the ice. Get it on the net. Big play inside the defensive zone. Here's the chance to set up now. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal. Yeah, breaks this tie, Jake. You know when these teams get locked up tight. Sometimes it stays that way a long time. He drops into the butterfly to try and take away as much of the net as he can. But the shooter's got enough time to find some room. He sees it, and he doesn't miss. San Jose's got an opportunity to try and close things out here in the late stages of this third period. There's still enough time left, though, James, that they have to remain an aggressive team, and their goalie is going to have to make a save or two down the stretch. Good use of the body on the play. And the puck departs the zone. Ontario's looking to break out. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Gives him a whack and the officials are going to call this one. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Sails over the net. Most dangerous place on the ice and he can't capitalize. And here comes the judgment from the official. Slashing the call, you know about these. Yeah, you get nabbed for him. I mean, the worst slash you can make is when you slash somebody in the pants. It's like somebody's hitting a drum. It sounds loud, and you don't even hurt the guy. Another huge opportunity looming here on the man advantage. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on, and their coach has got to be pleased with the results so far. San Jose's got it behind the net. Takes it and looks ahead. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a chance in front. That opportunity is rejected. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Takes the shot. Off target. Oltz taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. Here they come on the attack. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Slashing the call and a pretty dangerous one at that. That's way too big a swing to get away with. He's going to go to the box. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. They were going over some footage on their tablets right before they came out for the power play. I hope they looked at the right part of the video because some of this has been ugly tonight. Excellent stick work on the play. Ontario's got it into the offensive zone. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, and a little too much air on that one. He's trying to shoot that right next to the goalie's ears. Get it up top, but he shoots it too high. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to work now on the man advantage. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Across the line from center. Here he is from the slot, and he gets a paddle on that one. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't, oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. The arms up, there's the whistle, and boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. Pretty nasty whack and slashing the call. If you're going to slash somebody, don't slash him in the pants where it makes all kinds of noise. He gets called for that almost every time. 
Big opportunity coming up with a five-on-three man advantage. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great, other times not so good. But this is a key moment in this game, a chance to tie it up with the man advantage. Takes that pass back at the point. All smart heads up play to put that one away. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Ontario's got it from behind the net. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Ontario's got it along the wall. From the point, they take control of it. Not able to connect. San Jose's got it in their own zone. The Reign have gained possession off the wall. Denies that opportunity. Risky play with the paddle, but it works. And another stop. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. Late goings of this period. San Jose's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Sutter's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Misses the net. Oh! That's frustrating. You, you get yourself into position. You don't get many of these chances a game, and he doesn't get it on net. Denied that one. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Played big in the moment there. A critical draw here. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. They get it out of the defensive end. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Ontario's opportunity to take advantage of the game is completely squandered as they fail to capitalize with a man advantage here. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Move to the middle from the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Ontario's won the draw. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Ontario's moving it up the ice. And a poke check knocks the puck away. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Carrick's got it in the defensive end. Sends the pass over. San Jose's got it against the boards. A chance to end it, and that's blocked away. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. They had the puck a lot. They controlled it in the offensive zone. What I really like, though, James, and it, I think this mattered a lot as to the final score, is they didn't turn it over much at all. We hear the term puck possession an awful lot in today's game. They maximize their opportunities. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.